Well, isn't this interesting? I've just made a video um, about this where I say in it at the end, I'm talking about the future of Big Screen Beyond and Pimax announcements, uh, or Pimax rumors, now it's an announcement. Uh, and in that video, I say that I can't see Pimax being able to deliver a 4K OLED with a bigger field of view for two grand. And, um, and that's how much I know, because uh, here it is for pre-order for two grand. So uh, there you go then. And I also say in that video, that's going to be quite a quandary because do you spend 11, 1200 on a on a big screen um, or the old crystal or do you find the extra to go for the micro OLED with 5057p PD? Um, pretty cool, man. I don't know. It's still in your top tier. Um, it's still going to be in your top tier, I guess. I guess what we're going to end up with is this Pimax Crystal Light for 700. I don't know why you'd get the local dimming for 900. I don't know how many more zones they have. Um, I don't know. I guess if you're going for the cheapest to get you into the get you into VR, maybe you've been sitting on the fence for a long time, and you kind of just you didn't want to drop over a grand for the for the you know peripherals what they're all costing so you've just been waiting and now this little thing's popping up um and it looks pretty cool man it looks pretty cool it's like really good display great good lenses um yeah got the refresh rate it's yeah it's looking looking exciting little time which leads you to the other video the vr golden age maybe so i was writing some things and not and not not pricing so i need to work on my pricing fair enough so I guess what you're going to end up with is a Pimax Crystal Light slash Quest, even though it's not really for PC, but people, you know, MacGyver it and make it work. So you end up with the Quest 3 and the Pimax Crystal Light entry level um, for a similar, similar amounts of money. And then you can end up with the big screen beyond... I don't know if they're going to keep the old Crystal or they're phasing it out. I don't know if it's going to go Light, Crystal, Crystal Super um because why would you announce this if you're not going to keep the crystal going because no one's gonna no one's gonna buy them are they unless they know you're going to support the product for a while so i don't know i don't know i don't know when these are going to get released maybe q4 i think i heard rumors of for the super i don't i've got no idea when the um the base the suit the light version is going to get released um so you can end up with entry levels of Quest 3 and the Crystal Light. Mid-tier, you're going to be big screen beyond, possibly the old Crystal if they keep it in. Uh, and the upper tiers, you can end up with your your, your 4K OLEDs um, and your VR ones. I guess that's what we're going to be looking at going forward. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of choice there. I think Pimax... <sighs> man... How do we say this? Um, you know, I always feel for companies bringing out a product because I can only imagine how much time, effort, resources go into bringing a product to, to, to market, whatever that product may be. Regulations you have to get through in red tape. Um, for then it just to miss the mark and a reviewer just like bash it you know it, it just must be a brutal industry and more no more so than the vr industry we've always lost already lost aero and index ain't done anything and reverb and those ones it's just like they've all just kind of in the dust now um so it's obviously a brutal in, industry so sonim you know they might find that the hard way as well at this point unless they can hurry up and look at their pricing um but with pimax they never had that problem they did deliver good products some QC issues where Pimax have suffered and struggled has been with their customer service. And if you look at any VR video right now, any VR review of video right now talking about the Pimax announcement, you will look at the comments and they'll be like, yeah, never touching a Pimax. Yeah, tried it, tried Pimax for it, never touching them again. You think, Jesus, man, like, what did these guys do to their customers for them, for them to make them feel that way, you know? Which, and it's crazy to me because you think, you think, well, 
you've done the hard bit, right? You've done your research, you've sourced your materials, you've put it all together and created a product, you've mass produced it, you brought it to market, you marketed it, and then you F up on the customer service part, like the easiest part. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know if it's just... I think these are made in China. Maybe it's that it's a mindset over there because they don't really have customer service over there. Maybe that's something to do with it. Um, but it's hurting them and it's going to cost them sales unless they start to address it. I mean, from my experience, I ordered a crystal, um, you know, when it was first announced, pre-ordered it, paid the 30 euros or whatever it was. Um, and when it was my turn to place the order, I, I just sat on the fence because I think the Beyond was announced. And I just kind of wanted to see what was going on. There was a few QC concerns, um, people getting headsets. So I just wanted to see what was going to happen. I didn't end up buying it. Uh, I also didn't get my deposit back um, despite a couple of emails. I'm sure if I kicked up a big enough fuss, I'd get it back. But I shouldn't have to do that. you know. And it made me think, rah, man, if they're like this with the, like the deposit... What if I have a problem with a display or a dead pixel or do you know what I mean? Like you're spending two grand and dude, like they've got to, they've got to sort it out. So I think it's great. They're really innovating. They're pushing, um, you know, they're pushing this field uh, with the state of the art technology in these headsets. I wish they could do some with the ergonomics of it. Um that's still that that's the only real negative factor now for them you know you look at the okay you can't compare it to the apple vision pro because they've just got endless money to throw at something and even with their endless money to throw at something to try something the the, the vision pro is still pretty monstrous okay it's still pretty big um compared to the beyond particularly but you just think god man for 2k if you could have just like so that's where my, that's where I go from here because I'm thinking, wow, man, I love my Beyond. I can't see me replacing it for a while. The only thing I can see me replace it is with a 4K OLED because I only want OLEDs now. Now, just like my TVs, I'm only buying OLEDs. Um, I don't know why you'd have the QLED. Why you'd go QLED? From a TV perspective, you buy a QLED. Say you're in a high-rise apartment. And the sun shines in all day long and you basically can't watch an OLED TV because of the reflection. So you buy QLED and the brightness on it and it's written, it's great for light rooms. You buy OLEDs if you watch movies at night or dark rooms, not even dark rooms, just just normal rooms, you know. Um, then, then you go QLED and because it's a VR headset where it's completely on your face, that's not a concern at all. So other than the QLED giving you better brightness over an OLED... But that said, don't know why you go for the QLED. You're all enclosed. Look at me running up the stairs and out of breath. You're all enclosed, so there's no benefit of the QLED. It's a bit brighter, but OLED, you've got better latency. You've got richer colours. Although it's not as bright as QLEDs, because of the depth of the blacks in the colour range, it just looks as good. So... Yeah, man. So that's interesting. Sony VR One. God damn! I don't know what these guys are gonna do. I have a feeling this is gonna be the best headset um, for build quality. I, I just got a feeling like it's gonna be like the Aero. It, it looks nice. They put a lot of time into it. But the longer they take, man, these 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 specs, you know, which were awesome. For the last couple of years, all of a sudden, like, and I know some, I, I know some people are saying like their lenses are like Gen Two, whatever that means. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, this doesn't even have pass through, doesn't it? So you look at this, okay? So you go Super QLED, which is what this is going to be, but it's four K, and it's one seven nine nine, and I think it has. This also has the, the Aspherix, uh, eye, it has eye tracking. I don't know if this has eye tracking. Okay, QLED display. So is it the pass-through you have to pay extra for then with the VR1? 
VR headset, eye tracking, VR headset, eye tracking, hand tracking, mixed reality camera. Okay. I see you've got a base one as well. All right. Okay. We've got to see where this goes. But I've got a feeling this is going to be a really good headset, even if the specs are not going to compete with this. Um, and if they nail their customer services and. Uh, Yeah, and just be more reliable and have no QC issues. Um, that's where I guess they'll they'll slot into that top tier product line. Um, yeah, I mean, with my Beyond, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, with my Beyond, it's um, the build quality. I'm happy with. Uh, I really love it. I love the displays. I, I love I love everything about it. You know, um, I get a sweet spot would be nicer. The bigger field of view would be nicer. Um, 4K would be awesome. But then, you know, it's not just... It, it, that's something we're not talking about, by the way. 4K OLED. You know, I've got a 4090 Founders Edition. And it's not going to be enough for that. So, we're talking about a new GPU as well. You know, Um so you're not just spending two grand on this. You, you've got to factor in. I mean, okay, yeah, forty ninety. Let's say I get when I come to sell that seven eight hundred quid, maybe a bit more because it, it it's really held its uh, held its place in the market. Um, and then say I pick up a fifty ninety if I even able to get one on day one. Probably have to wait six months later, and then I'll be lucky to get one. So you're looking at. 18 1900 pound for a 5090 to really get the most out of this um yeah man we're talking you're talking a three four grand investment versus what i've got right now which is this which is awesome and, and just delivering everything i need like that's that's your little pickle right there isn't it because i'm digging this it's running great on my 49 on my system that i've got you know, jump into that 4K OLED like it, it'd have to be. I don't know what it'd have to be for me to for me to to do that. But yeah, we we'll keep watching this space, man. It's exciting. Uh, it's a, it's a great time to be in uh, be in VR. But um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. All right, latest potatoes.